Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another quad talk series video. I have some updates on the YFZ here. Uh, the past couple videos you've seen have been from a recent riding trip to West Virginia. Uh, I went with my uh, girlfriends, some of her brothers and family friends. We went to uh, the Hatfield McCoyle Trail System. We rented out a cabin uh, kind of near Bear Wallow. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. I did get into a little bit of an accident on one of my hill climbs that I did. You in for a closer look here in a second, uh, but the grab bar is just bent up a little bit. I uh, got to the top of the hill and I hit a rock and I had way too much get throttle going on it and I just flipped it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and replace that and get the, some maintenance items done on the machine. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull you in here for a closer look at the damage. So this happened on one of my hill climbs that I did. Um, I ended up just being way too throttle happy and I believe I just hit um, a rock or something and it just shot the wheel straight up in the air. Um, yeah, so that's what happened, rolled the quad. It only, it rolled once and that was it. So it wasn't like a, a, a major, wreck by any means but the grab bar did take some damage we are going to go ahead and pull that off and replace it Hey guys, so we got the OEM grab bar uh, installed back on the machine. I did forget to order a bolt, so I am gonna have to replace one of these bolts uh, just over on this side. Um, so I'm gonna get that order in. I did take uh, a look into this plastic piece. The hole is stripped out, so the whole tail light housing um, would need to be replaced. Um, not a big deal. Uh, at the moment, I was able to get the other one in just fine, and it's on there pretty good. It's also uh, attached around this area too, so not a big deal right now. We can still go riding, um, but I do want to think about ordering a new one. And lastly, I am just uh, for the fun of it, I'm going to put the Factory 43 sticker on my grab bar, uh, you know, just for fun. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> So there is the factory 43 sticker on the factory bumper. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It looks the same as the uh, factory 43 grab bar that we took off. Um, just a little bit of a different shade of color, um, but not really that noticeable. And then with the sticker on there, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and button everything else back up. Another exciting update for the YFC. We have some new tires. These are Obor Advent tires, and then uh, this size here, I'll get a close up of that for you. These are 20 by 11 9 Obor Advent XE tires. I did do the, those in the back. They are a inch wider than our stock tires. These are an inch wider than our stock tires, which should help us with grip. As you can see there, I mean, the tread is just so much more aggressive on the uh, Advents. I did notice when I was on the trails in West Virginia, the back end would be slipping out constantly. So I'm hoping these tires will help with that problem and give me more traction and i actually do like these um front tires these are actually pretty good tires the tread's nice uh and aggressive it's really the rears are a problem um just not uh not enough grip but we did go with the advent uh tires for front and rear here as you can see and then also 
once these tires are mounted, we're going to be doing white letter paint on uh, the letters, both the advent and um, the obor. The size here is, uh, I went with the stock size um, on the fronts, 21 by 7 dash 10s. Those are uh, the stock wheel size, so um, no change with that. Along with the tires, I did pick up a set of Alba Racing beadlocks. I will get these out of the package and we can take a closer look at those, but I am really excited to put those on the quad. Um, I did notice uh, I dented the front wheel over here. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's right there. Hope oh, that's actually not a uh, that's a pretty good angle right there. You can see, um, but I did dent the wheel, so I took the opportunity to upgrade to some Alba Racing beadlocks, and I will get these out of the package and we can go over um, the beadlock uh, wheels. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go over that. All right, here are the new tire and wheel setup for the YFZ. We have the Obor Advent front and rear tires. We also have the letter paint. We're going to go with white, and we're going to be doing uh, the letters on the tires. And then over here, we have the Albo beadlocks. Front in rear back here. I will be sure to include the sizes of everything here in the description box below. Um, so you have access to that, but you can see here, I did go with the black bead locks. These new upgrades, I cannot wait to get installed here. They look amazing. As you can see, the new Obor tires and the Alba Racing bead locks have been installed. I went over to a buddy's house the other night and had some help installing these. Uh, they came out amazing. They look sick. Uh, I can't wait to test them out, and we're going to do that here soon. Um, but today, we need to go through each of these bolts and spec them down to 6 to 7 foot-pounds of torque. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull these off the quad and get all those tightened down. We have the tires all cleaned up here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and dry off the wheels. I'm gonna use uh, some Bee Maker. Um, this is really a car product. I'm almost out, actually, but we're gonna use a little bit to shine up the wheels here and um, get rid of the water that's left on there. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to paint these letters.
go ahead and get the back side here. Today is a big day. We are finally getting a chance to test out the new tire setup on the YFZ. Um, I've been out here for about an hour or so already, uh, just getting a feel for the traction. Um, it's pretty dry, dry conditions as, as you can see here. Um, so not a lot of mud or anything, uh, but they hook up really nice. Some of the loose stuff, they, they really hook up good. So, um, so far, still gonna get some more riding in, different terrain and whatnot, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just start ripping.